All right, Shalom, Shalom. Now Athan Kal Halayim Wa Hawad La Abanawa Yahawa La Hashem Hamashiach Wa Malaki Hawashai. Double honor to the venerable apostles of the great millstone, GMS, who rule and teach Yasha Allah well through the Spirit, leading the flock by example. Peace, blessings, citations to the Akim pushing this 100% gospel throughout the four corners of this earth, risking their life for Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai's sake. Adwan Ratza, which means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And the topic of this lesson is the truth is only for the elect, okay? This truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is only for the elect of the nation of Israel, okay? So let's get into Revelation chapter 14 and verse 1, which reads, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads, right? And of course, that lamb is indeed Yahweh Shai, okay? And you know, the nature of a lamb, all right? A soft, peaceful, harmless animal, okay? And you know, when a lamb is slaughtered, all right, it's slaughtered in quietness. You know, you don't <coughs> get a whole bunch of, uh, you know, commotion from the animal trying to, you know, resist and fight back, all right, as such, all right, contrary to what, you know, a goat does, okay? And, you know, Yahusha was that sacrificial lamb for the nation of Israel, all right, beginning with the elect first and foremost, all right? He was the unblemished lamb whose precious blood was shed for the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American and Seminole Indians, all right, as well as you Israelite foreigners scattered abroad, you know, you speckled birds, okay, that may even look like these other nations, all right, but whose seed line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob through their fathers, all right, who are the children of Israel. The biblical Hebrew Israelites, okay. So, you know where it says a hundred forty and four thousand, okay. That's referring to the the governing body, all right, of the kingdom of heaven, the elect of the nation of Israel. We can uh, go to Revelation chapter seven, all right. And go to verse four, and I heard the number of them which were sealed, and they were sealed in hundred and forty and four thousand. Of all the tribes of the children of Israel, right? Because there's 12 tribes, okay, of the nation of Israel, you know. And if you continue reading on, it'll tell you that 12,000, all right, were sealed from each tribe. So back to Revelation chapter 14, okay. Right. Having his father's name written in their foreheads, okay, and the father's name is Yahweh. Okay, and his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai. Okay. Scripture says, whoever, you know, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's why it's important to have, to have the true names, all right, of the Lord. All right, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it and is safe. Okay. So you won't be delivered calling on these other false, these other false names like Jehovah and Yahweh and Yeshua. Okay, Jesus Christos, Jesus Christ, okay, no salvation is found in those names, okay. So uh, let's get to verse 2, Revelation chapter 14, verse 2. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder, and I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps, okay. And, you know, this is the elect worshipping and praising the Most High, All right. We're singing this new song, okay. Uh, let's go to Isaiah chapter 12 and verse 2, which reads, Behold, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Yahweh, right, it says Jehovah there, okay, but we know there's no J, no E, no V in the ancient Hebrew, okay. So it says, For the Lord Yahweh, right, which means He exists, all right, is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. Alright. So, you know, even when the Most High delivers his elect, alright, beginning with the 144,000, alright, along with the one third, alright, pursuant to the book of Zechariah chapter 13 and 9, alright, which consists, you know, of the multitude of the one third, alright, men, women, and children, alright. 
because you know at the end of the day this truth again this song is only is only for the elect of the nation of israel all right they're the only ones that are going to understand this all right to the spirit and power of your heart they're gonna you know their spirit's gonna resonate with the song that we're singing that we're playing to them all right talk through this word through the har kodash through the holy spirit all right this ain't for two-thirds in babylon the great aka america all right they're not going to receive this this knowledge wisdom and understanding all right they're not going to repent in meekness and, and in humbleness all right and fear the lord and feel sorry for their sins okay again we're only here for the elect pursuant to romans 11 and 7 all right and you know you've got these other hebrews who like camps constantly you know talking about saving the, the entire nation you know when the lord is not dealing with the whole nation all right you know he's dealing with the little sanctuary all right just because you know you have these other groups with large congregations doesn't mean that the lord is dealing with them all right now we do believe you know that some of the elect are in these other groups all right and in due time yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai, will extract them from those other camps okay and you know you got these individuals like Bokab Malone, you know, trying to overthrow this truth, right? Which will not work, okay? Because you can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth, okay? Revelation chapter fourteen verse three, and they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. Okay. Right, so no heathens are going to get this. All right. The Lord is already spiritually blinded. All right. Most of the nation of Israel. Okay. Except for the elect. Much less these other nations. All right. You know, again, no one else can get this, man. Uh, let's get a precept. Luke chapter 21, verse 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Okay. And here's why. Acts chapter 5, verse 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. Verse 39. For if it be of Yahweh, you cannot overthrow it, lest happily, lest happily you be found even to fight against Yahweh, Baal Shem Yahushai. Okay. So you're wasting your time, man. All right, the doctrine will, doctrine will never change. The truth will never change. The most time will never change. Okay. This isn't our our own works. This isn't what we came up with. All right, this is of the Lord. Okay. All right. So nothing can be done to overthrow this. Let's get to Revelation again, chapter fourteen and verse four. And it reads, "These are they which were not defiled with women." All right, and this women, all right, represents these other philosophies and ideologies. All right, you know you got your major organized religions like Christianity, Islam, all right, Hinduism, Buddhism, and all these other false spiritual systems and religions, all right. For they are virgins, all right. You know the elect are not going to be, you know, deceived by being, you know, caught up in these other religions. Now there could have been, you know, a Catholic prior to the truth, all right, before you know, before they repented of it. All right, but now, all right, they're cleansed from that. So these are they which follow the Lamb, Yahweh Shai, whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and to the Lamb. All right. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna wrap this up and just keep it short. I don't want to wrap it with edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Again, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. And in closing, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. With that, shallow arm to the elect.